Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be giving herbalism some love. If you have skinning and herbalism, you'll be able to put both to use. But this one really is all about that herb. So let's get this party started. We're headed to Legion, so head to your faction's portal room and hop in the portal to Asuna. When you arrive, head over to the Flight Master and fly to Starsong Refuge in Valshara. If you find this video useful, please hit the like button. And, if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. I'll be showing you three different ways to collect Dreamleaf, which is currently going for 10 gold apiece on the auction house. You'll also be receiving Y Saraline seeds, which sell for between 1 and 2 gold. Obviously, prices can vary, but you'll be collecting a lot of these in a hurry, so you should be able to make a decent amount of gold using the three methods I'm about to show you. One method is to farm the second group of trash mobs in the Dark Heart Thicket, which we'll get to in just a moment. First, let's check out the two different Dreamleaf node types that spawn in this zone. See how this node has got a hint of blue and purple at the base. This one is just a standard node that will produce Dreamleaf and seeds. This one is completely red. And while it will also produce dream leaf and seeds, it will spawn a nightmare creeper that will drop even more dream leaf. The third method is to farm the vile petal rooters in the area, as they all drop dream leaf and seeds as well. The other mobs drop them too, but the drop rate is much lower, and likely not worth your time. I've outfitted my gear with the following Enchants and Speed Gems, which currently has me sitting at a 20% speed increase. It's a huge difference and well worth the cost. If you're farming on your main, I recommend a second set of gear designed for pure speed. You'll also want to be on the lookout for gear that has plus speed on it, as it will further increase your speed and efficiency while farming. Now let's head into the Dark Heart Thicket. If you have skinning, you can pull all of these mobs, as many of them are skinnable. Stonehide leather is not really worth farming at the moment, but it does sell. I recommend skipping them if you're trying to maximize your gold-making efficiency. Run up to the green barrier to trigger the NPC on the other side to drop it. I normally skip this first boss and only farm the mobs up to the point you'll see in this video. You'll normally get around 50 Dream Leaf, which at the moment would be around 500 gold for a little over 3 minutes of work. I recommend hitting each vile thorn bloom that's retracted on the ground, as they can be difficult to aggro.
Run up and grab this last group. Kill the mobs and farm up your dream leaf. You'll then want to run out of the instance, reset, and repeat. Remember, you can reset an instance 10 times in an hour. I'm not aware of any benefits of running this instance on Heroic, but remember, if you kill a boss, you won't be able to reset the instance. On normal mode, boss kills won't impact your ability to reset. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, as it really helps me out. I look forward to bringing you the next video to aid you in your gold-making journey. Have an incredible day.